puppies. Aren't they cute? But they can be destructive because they've got to chew. And I've had to completely enclose the shelving in their room to keep them out of there and from chewing the things in there. And they're even tearing apart cement. And God knows what could happen if they ate rocks and swallowed them and got them in their gut. But they're teething and they can be destructive. As you see, they just got nothing better to, to do than to chew along the edges. And thank God that's not wonderful furniture. Uh, but they chew at the baseboard. They've chewed at the new door. I just had a new door put in last summer. And they've been chewing at that. So, I bought a brand name deterrent for puppies chewing it cost ten dollars at the pet store and is essentially water alcohol and extracts of bitterness things that are bitter they don't tell you what and uh, it works well for a few days certainly no matter what you're using you're gonna have to keep after your dog to stop them from chewing on things but with a few household items you can probably solve this problem yourself without paying so much and what one of the main ingredients you want to have on hand is distilled vinegar you can use apple vinegar as well in conjunction with white vinegar but to take the place of the apple you can use lemon they really don't like the taste of vinegar whatsoever and um, we'll go ahead and mix up a batch of this and put it in my empty bottle another thing that's even worse for them is cayenne pepper and you can use two or three teaspoons of pepper mixed with water shake it well and spray that the thing about pepper is it can be an irritant to their eyes and their nose so I wouldn't suggest this as a first choice it's just maybe to keep after them if they're being overly persistent but I have some pepper on hand I'm gonna try this home remedy and if it doesn't work I'll switch to the pepper because even though they have a plethora of toys and chews they decide to get destructive and chew on the house chew on the cement here's from a previous dog I had a dog that maybe he was irritated and he just went right down the line here sticking his canine teeth into this wood at head height in the gate that holds him into the room so we'll go ahead and mix up a batch see if this is a good deterrent I have washed some lemons and we'll slice these in half in order to get started doing some squeezing I suggest squeezing your lemon juice rather than using a, a food processor so that you don't get a whole lot of pulp in there that's going to clog up your sprayer uh, you know uh, just having some good pure juice is the best way to go so I've got five or six lemons cut in half and we'll go ahead and juice those see how it goes see how much juice I can get out of those maybe I've got about eight lemons here Eight good sized lemons equaled almost two cups of juice. So that's enough juice for my first batch. The recipe calls for 
a mixture of two to one. So that would be two parts lemon juice to one part vinegar. And again, I suggest that you strain it so that you don't get a whole lot of uh, pulp inside your uh, sprayer to clog that up. Well, I said almost two cups. Looks like it yielded about one full cup. So we'll put one full cup of lemon juice in a bottle, if I can get it in there. Okay, so I spilled a little. So that's two to one. One cup of lemon juice, one half cup of white vinegar. Then you want to shake well. Now you could replace the lemon juice, well, again, with the cayenne pepper, that would be two or three teaspoons in a full bottle of water such as this one, 12 ounces. And you just shake up the water and cayenne. Now that's lukewarm water, not, not real cold, not real hot. Shake that up, put it in your sprayer, and get to town. But again, it's recommended that you don't use that as the first choice because if they get it in their eyes, that's going to irritate. <laughs> and of course, you know how a dog's nose is. So we'll go ahead. I, I could have used a larger sprayer bottle, but I didn't have one. So I'll just use over this one. I paid $10 for it. Let's get the most out of it. We'll refill it with my new home remedy mixture here. They say one of the benefits to this uh, lemon and vinegar method is indeed it makes your whole house smell well. It makes your house smell good. Okay, I'm about two-thirds full. I don't think I can hold it all. If you make up a batch and you have extra, you want to keep it in the refrigerator because it'll be a while before you go to refill your bottle. You don't want it to get rancid. There's the little puppies now. Red and blue. They're monsters when they feel like chewing. So, with your uh, bitter spray, you just go liberally spray it wherever they've been chewing. And, uh, you know, they really don't like things like vinegar or lemon. So this is going to stop him. You saw how Ray backed off right away when he smelled this. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. He got the cap. He wants to chew it. They're monsters. So anywhere they've been chewing, liberally spray this. It'll dry out. And I'll go around and spray. Uh, this really makes me mad that I have to fix this cement. They just keep digging at my... This used to be an outdoor porch. Now it's indoors. Puppy spot. But they're wrecking it. Uh, they just lick, lick, lick. So anywhere that they've been chewing. They've been chewing on this corner. I have a brand new door that they chewed on. I'm going to have to make a new bottom for it or something. Oh no, look what they've done. Remember to keep shaking this so you keep it mixed up. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to Cayenne. This was red. I caught him red-handed chewing this. Red, what's the matter with you? There's another spot. Although this may have been compromised corner of the step, 
they've licked it to death. I, I don't know how they do it. Here's another spot. Even right off the edge, they sit here chewing the edge of the step. So someday this is going to have to be refinished. Well, it remains to be seen how well it works. I'll put up the video and then, you know, in a week or so I'll be able to update it and let you know if I found any more chewing. Of course, you have to keep renewing it about every two days or so. Otherwise, it kind of wears off. And the puppies can be really determined at chewing on stuff. So, again, the best thing to do is to give them Nyla bones. Although a little puppy is not all that interested in an isla bone. You've got your chewable ones. They haven't even dented that yet and they don't really like it. And then you've got your long lasting hard ones which is you should they're digestible. They're made to be digestible so I really recommend Nyla bone products. However again my vet has said your dog can have all the rawhide he wants. So I give them rawhide, but still, with all the toys here, they end up being destructive to the home. Okay, well, if you try it, you might comment uh, how well it works for you. Like and subscribe.